there. Right, okay, so we're getting five there. Five knots there. And we're getting seven through the water. Let's just pass. We departed Carrick for Liverpool as my credit card had expired and the new one was at my flat in Liverpool. We passed through Copeland Sound in calm water, but still getting several knots of tidal assistance. Yeah, well... We're getting almost eight knots and we're getting five through the water. Yeah, you can definitely see the, uh, the tide shifting that boy. Yeah. That's Deputy. Yeah, I remember filming Deputy last time actually. After that, it was just a matter of hoisting the sails and heading for the Isle of Man. And we've just got the um, the Jenny on the two reefs. So, um, so it's not not a reef, one reef. So um, we have little dots on ours. So the one dot means it's first reef, whereas two dots is second reef. So, but the thing is, the sails have been balanced, which is really good. And this is what it's about. Sailing! Well, we've reached that part of the evening where there's virtually no wind at all. Um, sea is just like big rolling jelly-like swells. We've seen, we've seen a number of dolphins or porpoises, possibly one minky whale. The Isle of Man is over there in the distance under the cloud and we've just got two hours to go of this long, languid, gentle, rolling swell that we're getting. It's not unpleasant. The inshore forecast for the next day described the sea state as moderate. We sent our roving reporter for a closer look. might be crazy and it might just be watching the sea but I'm enjoying it. No wonder it got wet. You can see that this pavement's wet. We've got puddles here. Oh look at that stuff it's gorgeous. We've got puddles here <laughs> and to be honest the whole road is wet all from the sea. It's just phenomenal. I wonder why we're staying in Peel today. Hmm. It was still windy in the marina, but at least we did not have yet foot waves to contend with. Well, we're prototyping again, um, but this time uh, it's a, a bevy and gem gainer idea. So, uh, what we've done is we've uh, constructed this rather wonderful 
uh, cross piece at uh, 60 degrees and it's going to be one meter 50 50 up there and then we're going to have an arch oh yes oh look at this prototype they're coming together <laughs> I'll do that bit for you. Thank you. Thank you. And then that is going to go right there. And meet up right there. Yeah. And so that gives us the approximate measurements that this bit here has to be about 177. And this bit here has to be 150. And this bit here is about 50 or 60. So we can get that small solar panel in between. Yeah. So now we've got the rough measurements. After prototyping, we moved to the advanced modelling stage of the project. And so the advanced computer modelling goes on down below decks. <laughs> Do you want me to hold the camera at least? I think so. And then that bit sort of goes round and round and round. Like that. So that's one corner of one arch. This is highly technical stuff. Do not attempt this at home. This is all being done by a trained professional. In your dreams. And you laughed at my really prototyping. Of course. It's always easier to laugh at somebody else's. Yeah. You're using matches for this prototype. Yeah. So there is one part of the solar, oh. solar arch to be. Yeah. You, you really pulled my leg for my uh, shower curtain. It wasn't a shower curtain, it was a storm curtain. I know. Oh, hang on, wait a minute. The solar arch construction needs a bit of reinforcement. Yeah, but I mean, the idea of a storm curtain was utterly ridiculous. But this, on the other hand, it makes, no, makes no pretension to be anything other than a model. So the idea is that... It wasn't anything other than a model either. <clears throat> the idea is that... This bit gets mounted on the back of Salty Lass on a couple of brackets that go back at 60 degrees. The back stay will then come down through here, there. through there, and thus be out of the way. And this bit here will be mounted on the transom and cut to such a length that it can then go there and we will have some stays that join them to mount the two together so that they become rigid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, give over. This is highly... Oh. Come on! This is highly complex work, you know. There's only a few people in the world capable of such technical and ridiculous modelling. But you need a prototype and then you can see what it's like. And then, yes, it is a prototype made out of matchsticks. Possibly. So the two arches will then be joined by these struts up here. There will be some struts on the side too, but there are limits to it. Might Models keep. <laughs> yes, definitely some limits. But you get the idea. Uh, we're going to make these uh, struts. So th this would be the ones at the back. This would be the one that's 60 degrees. Yeah, and there'll be enough room for a solar panel. The other thing we want uh, mounted on there is our stern light. <laughs> the stern light would go on about here, but it would be mounted high up. So the dinghy would be down here somewhere up against this. Yeah. And there might even be room for a wind generator to sit here and an AIS aerial to sit here. Woohoo! The solar panel would be on top of a, a, um, a mount that would sit on top of these struts. Yeah. And uh, that is the highly technical plan. So have you missed it? <laughs> <laughs> You're out of luck. It'll all come together. We bumped into some friends and had a bit of a chat. The next day looked good, so off we went. Slight. 
We arrived at Calf Sound, a notoriously tricky stretch of water, and waited for the slackwater period to commence. Once that happened, it was full speed ahead. before it was against the water but that's you can see that it's guarding that rock yes as soon as we were through we went close to the spanish head to avoid currents near the sound and then we traveled through the night back toward liverpool spending our time watching the bioluminescence in the stars decided to have a jacket and these um, badges uh, to describe my journey so this last little lot down here this was this was uh, our trip through the Caledonian Canal to Saturn Sails and there's Carrot Ferguson over that's going dolphin <laughs> after the dolphins we made the long journey down Queen's Channel and back into the Mersey and then to Liverpool Marina. <laughs> 